welcome to the archive pickups. We got ourselves a bonus unboxing first, and then we'll go to the archive pickups. See you at the end. Hey guys, we're back. I got something from the Regal store, as in the movie theater chain. Um, let's open it up, and uh, let's see what we got. I'm very excited. I'm actually going to flip this around so I don't get it on my... Actually, never mind. Okay. Okay. Got a bunch of packing stuff. And here it is. I'm not going to say what it is. Although you kind of probably saw it. This one I got the movie, but they didn't have any of the theaters. I kind of planned on it, them not having any, so I ordered it online. Here it is. This is sick. <laughs> oh, I'm a child, so. Uh, yeah. I'm going to open it up. Let me give me a second. Alrighty, here it is. I got my ghost trap. Um, this is really sick. Um, I don't know if this lights up or what. Like the dials and stuff. Um, I don't know if I get a refill with this or not. Uh, I gotta put the handle in first. Give me one sec. Alrighty. Is it this way? Wait, no. It's gonna be this way, huh? Um, as I said, as I, as you guys know, I did a review of the film. Uh, a Frozen Empire. It's this way. Give me a second. Alrighty. Time to unpull the thing. And... Look at that. And that's where your popcorn goes. And it's got wheels. Uh, does this do anything? No. 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 I don't think these do anything, but that's cool. I, I think it's worth it. Um... And this is where the battery, you change the batteries. Three 1.5 volt batteries. Okay. As you can see, it opens up like that. And it turns off when it's done. And you can just close it back. That is cool. Okay. So, uh, on to the archive unboxing. Hello everybody, we got ourselves a couple things to show you. Um, I went out and about. Um, I got the, the last two items I got for really, really cheap. I would not have paid the usual, you know, 100 plus dollars. I paid like... I'll explain when we get there. Bart Simpsons HBGB Hullabaloo. And for Walt Disney World in Orlando 2011. I mean, I mean, I add, but those are the two books I picked up. A lot of the movies and videos, I mean, videos themselves. Avengers of Sonic the Hedgehog Robots Attack. Inuyasha, the movie Three Swords of an Honorable Ruler. Unfortunately, they didn't have Inuyasha movie 1 or 2, so what you going to do? Chapter card, 18 chapters. Add for the movie prequels and the Inuyasha box sets. And the mangas. Back when DVD sets used to be 100, 119 bucks. Holy crap. That's a lot of... I mean, that's a long... Oh. 
Inuyasha is a good anime. I've seen. I've seen at least. I've seen parts of it. I haven't seen the whole thing. Disc. These are prequel movies, apparently. Um, I, I, I I don't know. I never I never watched the movies. I only watched the show. A, a Time to Kill. Rated R 150 minutes. Can take that. There we go. Code doesn't work anymore. You get the movie on Blu-ray. Great cast, by the way. It's Sandra Bullock, Matthew McConaughey, Sam J Samuel Jackson, um, Kevin Spacey. Who else is in this movie? Um, Donald and Keith Sutherland as well, which is cool. Alrighty, I never heard of it, so... With a name like that and a cast like that, I had to give it a shot. DVD. Again, these discs don't do anything. Because I can't redeem digital discs anymore. I have the disc drive and everything to do it. It's just the servers aren't up anymore. Um, Poltergeist. Absolutely fantastic movie. 114 minutes PG. This is a upgrade for me from uh, DVD. I don't think this movie has been released to blue... I mean, 4K, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Alrighty. Toy Story 3. I have the UK Blu-ray, but I mean... Nice to have a US copy as well. Paid almost nothing for this. Movies were like 50 cents. So, why not? Okay. Get ads for other movies. Ad for Blu-ray and Blu-ray 3D. Which, of course, Blu-ray 3D is barely in existence, if anything at all. Uh, Disney Movie Rewards points. I'll be redeeming these if they haven't been redeemed already. Alrighty. DVD 1. I mean, Blu-ray 1. Feature and Blu-ray bonus disc. There's like three main versions of this release. Because there's like... There's a Blu-ray DVD and then there's the two Blu-ray, which is very weird. I, I don't understand it myself. Anyway, Necessary Evil Super Villains of DC Comics. I know these were at Dollar Trees for a little while, but um, yeah, now I I have a copy. I gotta figure out a way to open this. Oh, give me one second. Yeah, we don't have Dollar Tree in Hawaii, so... Yep. Digital copy, which no longer works. I'm not gonna even try. Blu-ray and uh, DVD. Warner Brothers expired all of their titles. Uh, Universal has been expiring some of their lesser known uh, titles, but the mo for the most part, the uh, titles you all know and love, if you buy it, you know, used at the thrift store, and it comes to the code, and it works, well, I mean, it's not redeemed, chances are it will redeem, so don't worry about it. Anyway, Stabbing Westward, Darkest Days, I've heard of them, but I, I haven't heard any music from them? It's a HD CD, apparently. I found that mainly cheap uh, um, C DVD players have HD CD compatibility, but I haven't seen a solo HD CD player in my life. Uh, it's supposedly an upgrade to the CD standard that made the audio better. I, I don't know how that works. I couldn't. 
I couldn't tell you anything about it. Disc. Crossroads Eric Clapton Guitar Festival. I'm not the hugest Cl Clapton fan, but I'm, I'd like to get in his music. Here we go. Um, anybody I know? ZZ Top. Is that Stevie Ray's uh, Vaughn's son or something? Show Crow. And clapped him in itself for a little bit. Um, this is my second um, DVD with a um, artwork that. <coughs> Bless me. Um, with the artwork that comes out, like the like a CD. So you can see, you just slide it back in. This is my first two disc in this type of case, though. So, a little bit about it. There you go. No, 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 well, well, well. There's no classics though on, of Clapton's, which I find kind of sad. Um, DVD one and excuse me, yeah, I find it. Oh, they they did play Crossroads. Okay. Um, Played I Shot the Sheriff, some Marley. That's interesting. I I find it sad that Layla is not a part of this set, um, DVD, but okay. Is Layla being a classic that um, Eric Clapton wrote? I mean, Disturbed 10,000 Fists. There's no artwork or anything, so I'm assuming you just pull out the book. I have a classmate who loves Disturbed and, and New Metal as a whole. I'll just flip through it for you guys. Is this an album or a DVD? Or... Very nice, um... What do they call that type of paper? Like, artist paper? They use that to like do sketches over. I'm I'm assuming this is an album, but I found this in the DVD section, so I thought it was a DVD. But I'm oh, it is an album CD. Okay, it's a Disturbed album. Nice. I was confused. I was like, is this a DVD, a CD, or what? But because it was cheap. In the, the collection you go. I found another copy of Dogma. Again, for dirt cheap. This is a must. Uh, rated R 128 minutes. I do have, of course, the two disc uh, deluxe version. This is one of my favorite movies. Um... Very good movie. Disc, uh, Blu-ray, I mean widescreen, full screen. We're going to keep it on widescreen side. Thank you very much. Because I want to watch it in widescreen. Okay. Stay. Yeah, my stack's falling down. The Kingsman. This, uh, I'm probably going to take to my grandma's house because um, I, I technically already have this one. Um, again, 
the sale, I couldn't. I was just picking up a second copy. I still haven't watched this movie yet. I'm gonna test this code if it works, and if it does, eBay store you go. If not, then no biggie. After this video is done, I'll, I'll go ahead and test this. Give me one second. Alrighty. We only got a couple more items left. Ma this is a movie I want to watch. Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Unfortunately, the code is missing. But it was a cool steelbook. I usually don't pick up movies uh, without the code. Uh, if it did come with the code. But I picked this one up anyway. Because it's a movie I want to watch. And the steelbook is absolutely wonderful. Okay. Anime Explode 1 from ADV. Of course, ADV was a distributor of anime DVDs. I have a bunch of their DVDs I found thrifting over the years. So, there's a metal song on here. Okay. Again, I've never heard of any of these shows, if they are themes to TV shows. These are soundtracks that they have available. This, of course, is kind of ripping off the... Now that's what I call a music logo. I mean, it's very obvious. VHS and CD Brony would be like, yep, yeah, it's ripping off that logo. Like, it's blatantly obvious. Okay, the last two um, CDs are from a band that I'm slowly getting into. Yes, this is the album uh, 90125, and then this is Till, Tales of uh, Topographic Damage. I believe this is a 70s album. So this one came out during the classic era of Yes. Um, this is more 70s stuff. This is during the Prague era of the band. There's two bonus tracks. Um, six, there's only six songs on here, which is actually quite funny. But it's a Prague album, so what do you expect? Um... Fragile is my favorite Yes album so far. Um, I'm going to eventually get around to listening to all the Yes albums, but I have other things i got to manage as well, so you never know. <sighs> you me. Sorry. This is a 2003 reissue, which came out on its 30th uh, anniversary of the record, which is funny because 2003 was the year I was born, of course. Um, here's a picture of it. This was during the, probably the tour. Disc one. And uh, disc two. Oh, whoops. Okay, put you back in the sleeve. And this album, oh, come on, stay, stay. 
All right, this album, yes, 90125. This has the hit single, uh, if you've heard it before, Owner of a Lonely Heart. Um, Columbia House uh, manufactured this. This was the return to form. It's their thirteenth is their eleventh studio album. I didn't know that. I do have if I can find it. Where the heck is it? I do have yes nine oh is this it? Yeah, I have yes nine oh uh nine oh two one nine oh one two live. Alrighty. Yeah, the from what I've heard between Fragile and this this, it sounds very different. Um of course Owner of a Lonely Heart is more You hear that song on a on the classic radio all the time. Uh album I'd like to hear for myself. Um this apparently they broke up for a short while and reformed and then put out this album. The lineup for Yes, I hear, is very confusing, so I'm surprised. Uh, I even understand it. If I, I mean, by the time I, I, I get into this and hear all the albums, I'll understand it more. But now it's just a blur. Okay. I was shocked to see these for... Really cheap. I paid the same price as all the other titles for this. Bad Boys for Life, Steelbook, I'm Ax Enhanced, Alternate Ending, Front, I mean, Front, Spine, Top, Back. Apparently, they're working on Bad Boys 4 as we speak. Rated R 124 minutes. Give me one second, I'm going to take off the stickers. And the last two, I only paid five bucks each. And I'm very glad I did. These were shockers. Uh-oh. I never saw all of them. But I have um, them digitally. I bought the physical and it didn't work. But the digital copy is redeemed, so I, I have them now uh, digitally, not physically. <laughs> and then I have this one physically now. So now I gotta go find Bad Boys 1 and 2. Um, and then we're good. Okay. Bad Boys for Life. Digital copy, I'll be redeeming this um, to upgrade to 4K. My, personally, I would like to upgrade my code to 4K. 4K and Blu-ray. <laughs> yeah, as I said, these two I paid 5 bucks each, which is... I don't know how, but Halloween trilogy. This is the new Halloween trilogy on 4K with a steel tin inside of with steel books inside. So front, spine, other spine, bottom. Oh, holy crap! Top, way top. Holy crap! Bottom. Hour 46 minutes, hour 45 minutes, extended for hour 49 minutes, and hour 51 minutes for the three of them. Alrighty, so let's open it up. Give me one second, I'm going to take the sticker off. 
Alrighty. How do I open this? Does it come off? Yes, it does. Holy crap. Give me one second. Damn, that is sick. Front, spine, top, bottom, the Miramax logo. Miramax made this movie? These movies and back. So inside you got your steel books. That's cool. Look at that and it's foam and metal it's foam and metal. Like how more premium can you get? Look at that. Wow. I believe I have Halloween the first one in HD and then the other ones I have in 4K digitally. I'm not too sure. I think. Here's Halloween. Unfortunately, I gotta redeem them all as one, but what can you do? Okay. Proves I bought an authentic one. Okay. I have number 681. Okay, cool. I'm gonna be actually redeeming this then. You got Halloween with Michael on it. Then you got Halloween the Blu-ray. Which the Blu-ray by itself is easy to come by. Come on. I love the artwork inside. Unlike the Indiana Jones box, where there's still slots, this thing is foam, has foam and it's not going to break because it's foam. It's, it's, if I just leave one in there, it's not going to jiggle around. Kills. I don't know why they didn't center the word Halloween Kills, but okay. I didn't, oh. I didn't watch these movies, by the way, so. I only saw the original Halloween, so. But I hear these are sequels to the original Halloween and have nothing to do with the other movies that are out. So, it doesn't really matter. Halloween ends. That's not good. The steel book just opened on its own. Do I have ends? See, this is what I mean. They should have centered the word kills like ends here. Anyway. I digress. I like tea. And uh, I remember when this first came out and uh, kind of wanted it, but I didn't want to pay like a lot of money for it. Then Bill, shout out to him, sent me a digital copy of these. <laughs> and now I have the physical. It's a big ass box. I, I thought it would be um, longer this way. But I was wrong. This is the Evil Dead Groovy Collection. Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, and Ash vs. Evil Dead, the complete series. Holy crap. I'm going to break something. Top, uh, this stuff just folds out. I don't, I don't know how this works, but it folds out. You got disc one. You, the, the, oh. What? <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Includes 
Evil Dead bonus content DVD. I was wondering why there's a DVD here. Okay. Um, you got three discs for the 4K, two for the uh, two, and then six discs for Ash vs. Evil Dead. I never watched this show, so we shall see. How long is the set in total? One, 14 hours. Jesus Christ. 14 hours for the TV show and 84 minutes for Evil Dead 2, 85 minutes for Evil Dead. So let's open her up and see what beauty lies beneath. I never watched these movies and I always wanted to. But, um. Rarely do I buy box sets like this, but for this price. You know. Jay Kirk. Okay. Oh, it's like the Star Wars box set where it slides out like this. Okay. And then it stops. I don't have enough room for this. Oh, holy crap. Groovy, okay. Digital copies. Um, I will be selling these on... I'll be adding these to my eBay store. I know they work for sure, so I don't have to test them. Um, unlike that... Um, movie was it? Jesus Christ, I forget. Uh, Unlike the God damn it. Anyway, I can I can I'm gonna sell that one. As things fly all over the place, we shall move on. Show you the book. Oh, give me one second actually, it's a mess here. Alrighty, here's the book, and yes I remember what movie it is now, it's Kingsman. I gotta test the Kingsman code and then we'll go from there. You got Evil Dead. Read about that. 4K. Look at that. I have the 4K steelbook somewhere of this movie. Evil Dead. Evil Dead 2 4K. Okay. And then you got the Evil Dead 2 artwork. Uh, I... Disc. Evil Dead Blu-ray. Evil Dead 2 Blu-ray. Ash vs. Evil Dead. And then Ash vs. Evil Dead uh, Season 2. Which I believe I have all of these already. So I'm going to add this to the eBay lot. I'm, I'm selling my digital copies. Season 3. A little read up on that. It's 1. This t holy crap, this too. Show sure, I gotta watch. And you got bonus content. This is a DVD. Gotta be careful with this one though, because DVDs can scratch easily. There you go, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Groovy. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Alrighty, uh, thank you for watching. If you could, please subscribe to the channel. It does help us out a lot, so please subscribe to the channel. Um, again, thanks for watching. Um, I do have uh, another Archive pick Pickups going up for you um, next week. Um, 
Sorry about the janky schedule last week. Uh, I hope you guys did like the unboxing of the spoiler guitar, uh, the ghost trap, um, my review of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, and um, Hilo pickups, the ending of those. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed all of that. Um, we're now into archive pickups of uh, February. We're, we're going to uh, have February for about two more weeks, two, three more weeks, and then we're going to go into March. Um, so, um, glad you guys stayed through. Vitras and CD Brony, you should be receiving your box again either tomorrow or today. Uh, at the time of this uploading, I'm recording this uh, VO Monday night. And the video will be going up Tuesday morning, so, as usual. So, uh, VHS and CD Brony, hope you get your box. Uh, you got my VHS, which is great. Uh, I finished my 30 Days Song Instagram Challenge. Uh, I will link that playlist down below. I did change some things to make it work better and sound better, so um, I'll drop a link down below to that playlist. If you guys want to hear that, um, I I if you don't know, I have two, I have two channels really. I have my old old channel where I just watch videos, um, which is just called Punk Nerd, and then this channel Pokemon Nerd Four, the current one which I use to upload videos. I don't really use uh, two and three. I do have two and three. I just don't use them. So. Uh, if you ever wonder why I come in as Punk Nerd and I, ha I have videos as Punk and Metal Nerd 4, that's that's why, if you're wondering. Uh, so there you go. I am the same person. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy the playlist. Uh, give it a listen. It's pr I think it's about two hours long. Um, give or take. Uh, or so. Let me actually go check it right now. I think it's about, let's see, I have a thing to count, yeah, it's 2 hours and 37 minutes long. So, uh, go check that playlist out, and yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I hope to see you guys next week. Um, next week for me is going to be really busy. I have to go renew my driver's permit, I have to shoot my 5 minute, plus classes, and then... I have to go to a funeral that weekend, so it's going to be crazy. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week, unless I have a bonus video for you. I hope to read sometime this week. Uh, I do have my huge rock book collection with me, um, as you guys have seen in previous unboxes. Anyway, I hope to see you guys next time. Peace, everybody.